guess we'll do a quick introduction of ourselves. This is Luciano DeSensi. I am currently sitting next to Bob Galise and Chris Federico, who will be helping commentate for today's finals match. Bob, Chris, how you guys doing? Good. I'm doing well, Luciano. Thanks for, uh, thanks for having me here. Luch, uh, here we go again. This is what, our third year doing this together? Third, fourth year, I think? Third, fourth, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So, a uh, beautiful day down at the Woodcliffe uh, Italian American Club. And uh, looking forward to it. Got two good teams lined up. This will be a good game. This will be a good game. All right, are we ready to do some introductions? Had, uh, last year we had... Uh, P.L. Jr. No, yeah, P.L. Jr. Paul, Paul Lewis. Yep. And uh, that's the dad. And uh, this year, I mean, uh, last year we had his dad. Uh, oh, no, this Paul is, Lewis Jr. Yeah, Paul Lewis Jr. And then we got Paul Lewis the third this right. time. P.L. 3. Into a microphone just so I can hear. Testing, testing. Camera over from one side. Testing over here, testing from me on the sideline. So who's the guy with the uh, the gray, curly, uh, long curly hair right there? The glasses on. Playing for Fiorino. What's his name? Oh, uh, you're, you're speaking of Mr. Burns, uh, Mr. Russ Maraglio. Oh, is that Russ Maraglio? That is. Yes, Mr. Burns from The Simpsons. I can hear on my right. So we're just testing the mics, making sure everything is good to go for this finals match. You guys can comment in the chat if you're able to hear us. If you're able to hear us well, that would be greatly appreciated. I can hear you guys. Yeah. yeah. Out here. Good now. Can you can hear Frank? Yep. Can you hear me? Yeah. We right. can hear Frank. Can you? Yeah, I think, I think we're good now. We got it. Sidelines quiet. Huh? Someone said the comment said sidelines quiet on the live feed. Here's the sideline guy. <laughs> There's Frank. Okay. All good. We are live, guys. All right, here we go, guys. Welcome, everybody, <laughs> to the 38th Cleveland Challenge Cup of Bocce Championship match. We've got some great teams uh, that fought through some really tough matches and some great competition this weekend, all culminating right here in front of us. We've got North Country Graphics out of Rome, New York, and they'll be facing off against Fiorito uh, Funeral Services, and they're going to be representing the Cleveland area. We'd like to take a second and allow the captains to introduce their team. Uh, first up from North Country Graphics, Tino Emanuel, captain. I'm Tino Emanuel. Uh, my other teammates are my father, Eddie Emanuel, Paul Lewis, and Nicholas Sarah. Thanks, guys. And then from Fiorito Funeral Services, uh, Captain Russ Miraglio to introduce his team. Uh, 
First, I want to thank the Wycliffe Italian American Club. They put on a great tournament again this weekend, ran it pro just proficiently, and all the cleanup crew, especially to you guys. Um, I'm fortunate to play with three of the best bocce players in the Cleveland area and three bocce players that have hearts of gold off the court. Pino Rosati, Doug Carter, and Joey Stazar. Thanks, Russ. Now with that, we are gonna go ahead and flip the coin. So Tino, come on over. Let's see if I can find a third hand for this. Call it. He calls tails. It is. It's a head. Thank you, Russ. <laughs> it wasn't my best flip. Thank you. <laughs> yes, you may. Russ trying to poke <laughs> Thank the you for the quarter. Maybe. And we can go ahead and get started with a, a practice round down and back, guys. And uh, championship color? action is to 16. So which team is going to be which color? We're going to and let's see what Fiorito colors red. they will be. Looks like Fiorito Funeral Services is going to be red. Red, okay. So they need to be... Switched. So the teams will do a quick practice session up and down the court to warm up for this championship match. So we will get started once they go up and down the court. Yeah, that that uh, that that would be about it. <laughs> I don't know how long it is. But uh, guys, any thoughts of this match? What do you guys think about this? Uh, I know you two played in this tournament throughout the weekend. We started with a hundred teams in the open division, and now we are down to the final two. So, any thoughts, you guys? Well, I would say that uh, you know Eddie and Tino. Um, you know, for North Country Graphics, uh, they're, I, I've known them for a long, long time, real good hockey players. And uh, PL3, or Paul Lewis the third is, uh, i played against him many times. Great player, he can point, he can hit. But both teams are well matched. I, they, I'm kind of going up and down the lineup on both sides. And, you know, everybody can point, everybody can hit, and that's what you need in a, in a championship match, right, Chris? Oh, I absolutely. I, is Nick their leadoff? I'm assuming. Yes. Yeah, I agree. I, I've actually played with Paul Lewis the third here four or five years ago, and he was fun to play with. Yeah. Once you get to know all these guys, Eddie, Tino, Nick, Paul, they're they're good people. All right. So one more practice round, Luch. It looks like this must be the down part of the up and down. Yes, that would be correct. <laughs> And then so, it is important to note that uh, Fiorito Funeral Services does have to win twice. Ah, yes. Coming out of the loser's bracket, they defeated Tokelana Club 44 in the third place match, as you guys saw before on the YouTube stream. So they were able to defeat them, get through the loser's, br loser's bracket, and now they are in the finals here. Out of the Fiorito Funeral Services, Doug Carter was in the championship match back in 2018 with your Pepe. I believe, Trippepi Consulting. They were in the finals that year. They came in second. And uh, Tino and Eddie, father-son duo, they were in the championship match back in 2012. They fell short to the Vanger brothers that year. Man, 10 years ago already. Wow. It's a good piece of history. Yeah, that's, uh, and it, I, I didn't think it, it was 10 years already. Yeah. But I can't remember what I did yesterday, so <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. And it really speaks to the level of play we have on the court right now. Yeah, there's. Uh, Most definitely, Frank. Yeah, a lot of, I mean, like you said, up and down, Frank. Everybody, all these guys can hit, all of them can point. I mean, obviously, there's a couple guys that are better pointers than others, but not by much. So you see the teams are shaking hands now as we are about to get ready for the 38th Cleveland Challenge Cup of Bocce, sponsored by Serpentini Chevrolet. Here we go. This finals match is for the cup. Both teams looking for their first championship, and here comes the Pauline Toss. All right, as, uh, as we all knew, Russ is leading off. As usual, Russ right on top. Yeah, good ball. Good ball. Yes, I can. 
Russ has turned into a really great pointer over the years. Uh oh. Oh, okay. So Paul Lewis uh, hits Russ out. So a good shot there by PL3. But Fiorito help point. Oh, look at Nick. On. Even closer. Even closer for Nick. Nice ball, Nick Shira. Okay, so some nice ball there. So we said before, Fiorito Funeral Services coming on the losers bracket. So they were able to play pretty much back to back to back games. So they're kind of more of the team that's been warmed up and playing for a while. Country or North Country Graphics, when they won their game, had a chance to sit around a little bit. Tino with a nice shot there. So we're trying to get back in the groove here, trying to get back with some rhythm going in their match. I know you guys have gone far in winner's brackets before. How, how important is that to get the game going again, get your flow and rhythm uh, for a match like this? Well, that, that, that sitting around, as we all know, especially as you get older, takes a little toll on your body. But uh, typically after playing all weekend long, it only takes you a couple you know, rounds, a couple innings, you know, up and down uh, to, to kind of get back in it. And um, I, I don't know. These guys are just too good for that to even bother them. That's why I'm an advocate for the warm-up rounds. <laughs> we all know advocate. the debate about that. Yeah, yeah. We got a great frame unfolding here. Uh, Green holding three points, one ball back each with Fiorito Funeral Services to roll here. Looks like they're strategizing a little bit. So Joe Stazar now with the final ball. Eddie with the ball back also. Joe now lining up for a point. And here's his roll. All right, good spot. We wanted to get near those green balls, obviously. We'll see Eddie Looks lining like up Eddie's for a gonna, shot now. Eddie's going to shoot. He fires. Oh. Exactly what happened. Red comes I didn't, away with one. Yeah, I didn't see the ricochet, but that was a uh, good call on Fiorito. Talk that out. One nothing. Fiorito funeral services. Man, Frank, you say that very well. Fiorito. Thank you. <laughs> I got coaching from Russ. Oh, okay. imagine that. What a nice there ball, ball by Russ right there to start the frame. So Eddie last frame trying to shoot their ball out. Wasn't able to. So Russ and his team holding up Pauline in the next frame. Up one to nothing to start here. And a nice hit there by PL3. Solid. Solid hit. Yeah, this game is going to go, I think, onesies. Quite a few winning, quite a few innings. One Definitely point. has the potential to go the distance. Yeah, right. Nick now with a point. A little short. A little short and out. So Pino will go ahead and try to capitalize on short his two. point. Oh, but looks like he got it. Yeah, he looks to be short. Looks to be short. Yeah, the Pino's ball. Man, you see that ball bounce around as soon as you let it go? He had a couple bounces and slowed that ball down just a little bit. Currently, these teams are playing on our court two. We have nine courts here at the Wycliffe Italian American Club. So you see the crowd in the background all huddled around court number two at our facility. Now, Joe Stazar to point in. And these points are so far pretty pretty open. 
See if Joe can put one on here. That's the ball. And he does. Great ball by Joe there. We'll put Tino in a shooting position. If you watch Tino and his dad, Eddie, they have very similar windups and motions when they hit. And the shot. And he's able to get him out. If you remember in Rome, Tino didn't play in his hometown. Yeah, he was golfing, I think. Yeah, he had some golf outing, I believe. All this year? Yeah. Yeah, this, uh, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, a month ago. Another beautiful ball. Another beautiful ball. Was that Doug the pointer? Yo, <laughs> I believe it was. And Eddie now with a great hit. Tied it up, one apiece. Was that amazing? Just that one short ball that Pino threw, it just changed that inning. He puts that in, Fiorito's got at least one. Absolutely. So Eddie with a great shot there to hit Doug's ball out to get their first point of the finals. And Here Smith comes Nick. We'll lead them off. And the ball short in front, but I'm imagining Russ is going to point on it. Oh, Doug wants to shoot it out. He fires. And he gets it out. Doug always looks like he's upset <laughs> when they hit though, doesn't he? Does he does not look happy about that. <laughs> you were thinking the same thing yeah. when he said it. <laughs> I mean, he got the shot, <laughs> but not the point, so Russ will have to go. Looking to establish a nice point here. Typical Russ. Here to go, Russ. It looks like Russ is in his rhythm right now with these good points to start this finals. We just got to find Russ a good barber, man. It's not even on now, Luch. The volume's off. Okay. Are you hearing it over your headphone? It's probably Federico. He's new with this. <laughs> <laughs> Always blame the new guy. <laughs> well, what else? I mean, you, you got to blame the new guy. <laughs> Chris, how'd you guys do today? You had a good run? Yeah, we had a good run. We fell short at 7th, 8th. 7th, 8th? Yeah, well, we, we played you guys, and... Uh, as Chris knows, it was pretty sure me and you played the best, huh? Oh, my <laughs> Lord, man. I've never played so bad in my life. Well, I have, but yes. not in recent years. You and me both. My Lord, it was terrible. Here goes Eddie for a point. A little far and long. Doug the, measuring it up. The accurate measurement of his feet. Yeah, keep in <laughs> mind he, wear, he wears a size 7. <laughs> So room to point, and they will. Ooh, they got it. Far. Yeah. You got it in? Looks like point. Frank, look like point? Yeah, it looks like he's in. So good roll there. Here comes Tino lining up for a shot. Now when he doesn't swing well, his arm, he's going to roll. Pointy on this. Uh-oh, it's a good ball. It is. Right on it. Nice roll by Tino. I think it's the first ball he rolled uh, this game so far, no? Well, it is only the yes. third frame there, Bob. Yes, it is. Ah, but it's still, he hasn't rolled one yet. <laughs> hey, uh, Luch, is there any way you can shut off uh, Federico's mic? Uh, he can't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> Joe stays are now lining up for a shot. Try to hit, look to hit Tino Please out. Judge Joe Brown next to Frank. He fires. Oh, and a nice hit there by Joe to knock out Tino's ball for the point. Two to one, Fiorito Funeral Services. All right, nice shot. Nice shot. Good inning. Here we go. One, one, one so far. Do you see a three in anybody's future, Luch? I don't know if we'll see one in this match. Yeah, I don't know. That's going to be tough. I mean, it's got to be some kind of ricochet crazy shot. Here goes Russ again. A decent ball to start the frame in front. 
There's a Rosario from Florida. There's Bernie sitting there in the background. Frank, the civil. Frankie D. Here goes PL3 lining up for a shot. Fires. Oh! A stick, a stick by PL3. Oh. Wow. A hit and stick. Wow. What a great shot there. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. That was a good one. Uh oh! oh and Doug Carter trying to replicate what Paul Lewis III just did, and he split right through him. Wow. Now Pino is going to have to point on this. Nice ball. Look at Pino. Oh, man. Great roll, but comes up short. Great spot, though. Great spot. So things are starting to heat up here early in this match. Russ going down to talk to Joe to figure out exactly where they want to place that ball. This is kind of where the strategy comes in, right, guys? Hey, uh, you know, you've got the consigliere over here, Mr. Miraglio. He's definitely going to guide uh, young Joe, you know, although Joe doesn't need much guidance. That's, these guys always talk, and that's good. I think that's why they play so well together. Nobody gets upset about some direction or guidance. But a big ball by Joe here is really important because North Country Graphics has three balls in the back still. I think you're going to want to put it on the other side of the Paulino. We'll see if he's able to do it. Look short. Oof. So well short, Pino's ball. He had the right line, though. Look where that red ball was headed. He was headed right at that green ball. So North Country Graphics coming out of Rome, New York, the host of the World Series of Bocce. All the members and teammates from there play at that club. Several tournaments throughout the years. I, I know they've had tournaments throughout the big tournament. They have small tournaments. Um, Great geez. venue. Great venue. Good people. Put on it. They do a really good job. I mean, what do they have? 15 uh, courts, Luch, if, if I remember right. Yes, nine outside and six inside. But can you imagine taking care of all that? <laughs> Definitely a lot of work. We have nine outside. We just don't have the six inside. But, man, that's a lot of upkeep. But they do it. The place is almost spotless. Uh-oh. Oh. So their first two balls they try to roll in, and they're not able to get close. Tino now with the final ball of the frame. Looking to try to get two. This, this is a hard point, though. Very hard point. Very busy around that ball lane. What do you try here? Board shot, Bob? Well, try, I, try rolling off the board? It just depends on who's rolling it, Chris. I mean, if he's comfortable off that board, fine. Yeah, that's right. He's pointing him, too. That's what Eddie's doing. Yeah, he's coming off the board for him. I think it's the right call. Yeah, because you want to take that red ball out of play. But, but will it open enough is the question. Well, that we shall see. As you see Tino going back and forth, trying to figure out the best angle possible for this point. Looking to get two in the frame here. And here comes his roll off the wall. Oh, and it's not going to get there. I, I like that line, though. Yeah, line was good. Just yeah. not enough speed. Another roll and a half. He had the point. One point green. Tied it up. Back and forth we go, 2-2. Two, two. So North Country Graphics tying it up two at a two. North Country Graphics, a small printing company out in Rome, New York. It is Glenn Marsh, the owner of the company. Oh, a nice ball to start by Nick. His good friends with Tino on the team. He was able to sponsor them this year as the team came out five hours from Rome, New York, to play in this tournament. Here comes Doug. Let's see if he can uh, get back in line here. He got it. Oh. Oh, and he hung around. Wow. Great shot by Doug Carter to get that Pauline to the back wall. There's your change in shift there. So this will be the first time in the finals they'll be playing that back wall. So we'll see what Eddie does first. As we wait to see, yeah, does it sound like it. too good? Yeah, he didn't like it. Nope. 
sounded like it came off too much. So it, you think he hit to the right and it just and leaked out? That's, what I'm, that's what I'm thinking. I couldn't see it. Yes, it looks like exactly what happened there, Bob. Okay. Sorry, Frank, I should have asked you. <laughs> Sometimes I forget you're out there. My apologies. How could you forget about me? <laughs> Doug's waving no. Still a red point. So North Country Graphics using their third ball, not able to get the point. So Tino now. You never know. We might see this three three point frame here. It's maybe here, you think? Yeah, we'll see. That's right, he's only got one ball left. It's gotta work. it's gotta be good. So soft shot. Ooh. And that leaked out too. That's in though, huh? How's that look, Frank? Yeah, that one is holding point right now. Okay. So North Country Graphics has the point now, but Fiorino Fino Services has three balls in the back. Russ, Pino, and Joe, you see on screen, discussing what they exactly want to do, how they want to approach this. Doug Carter giving the line, as they say, they're trying to be trying to aim for that number two on the court. And you're just, you guys, you're thinking just go back wall. It's pretty open. Yes, absolutely. So Pino will go first. It's gonna pop off. Nice. And and he got it. Great shot, Pino. Yeah, I mean, at least you know, he has that backstop. So why not go for that again? And I'd do the same thing all over. I mean, you really can't sell this at this point. No, and they're looking for a potential four points here. It would be a big frame. Joe, same shot. And didn't come in. He was too far right. He huh, was Frank? just a bit too far outside the number there. Yep. Yeah. So not the same result. Oh, no. Wouldn't go that way. Why don't you stay with the same shot? I don't know if that green ball in front's in the way. Wasn't it there before? It looks like the yes. red ball is in the way of the two. Ah, and if ah. they go to the left, they think it's going to leak too much is what looks like the conversation is. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. I don't know if I like the double wall here. Yeah, I don't. I guess you, I guess you can't really sell it going that way. One eighty eight Ohio Comp proudly serves Ohio's employers and injured workers. Yeah, I kinda like they commit here. their I resources and staff to provide exceptional way. customer service, a aggressive a medical side. case okay. management, and quality health care focused on an early and here. safe return to work. Serving over sixty thousand employers. 1888 Ohio Comp aggressively manages workers' compensation claims to ensure quality, cost effective medical treatment, and return to work services. Just short. Call 188 Ohio Comp to see how they can help your business. Yep, looks like one point for Fiorito Funeral Services. Okay. Three to two. So Russ trying to roll in there wasn't able to, so they'll get one out of it. Hey, Pat. <laughs> Hi, Pat Durkin. How are you, man? Good to see you this weekend. You guys keep playing. It's a wise, the letter Y, apostrophe S, wise guys properties. And, uh, Pat, Carmen, Tony. I know I'm forgetting one that I should be remembering, and I'm not. Who else is on wise guys? Pat Durkin, Tony. Carmen Michael, Marinucci, Carmen, right. Michael, and Michael Robinson. And, and Mike, that's it, Michael Robertson, that's it, yep. I think it's Robertson, but... Yeah, Robertson, yep. Robertson. Good guys, good team. They're, uh, they're, they're a team to watch, I think, in the future. So, Russ, a great first point to start the frame. Here comes Paul Lewis the third. Shoots, and a nice hit there by him. But Russ still holding point. Well, there goes Corbo's Bakery pulling out. Yeah, they didn't put it up yet, huh, Luch? Nope, they got to put up the score three to two. Ooh, you can cool. see it on our graphic. They weren't able to get multiple points in the last frame. Even though they had three balls in the back, only able to get one out of it. So we have not seen a multiple point frame just yet. 
Good as, ball, Russ. As these two teams been going Pino. back and forth. Pino, Pino with a good Pino ball. Pino with a good ball. I'm sorry, Pino. Thank you. We got Pino, Tino. <laughs> it's Pino versus Tino. <laughs> Here's Tino. He's going to hit. Ooh, and a nice hit there. Able to put themselves into the point. So they got it now. Good hit by Tino. So now Doug. What's up, Todd? Assuming will go off the back wall. Got to cut that green. Oh, I don't think so. It really didn't really came out far enough. I think what they were trying to do was cut that green out since they had two as the second and third point. But he just missed the mark. Very true. It didn't quite happen that way. I think that was their plan. And also, I don't know if you guys knew this also. This is a rematch from earlier in this tournament. North Country Graphics defeated... Fiorito Funeral Services in the winner bracket. They won 14 of 11, uh, I think about three rounds ago. Uh, so this is a rematch. So these two teams a little familiar with each other. But we'll see what happens here in this match. So how many games did Fiorito have to play after that loss? Was it only one? No, they had to play three, I think. I think it was three, yes. Three, okay. Shot. Good hit by Joe. Good shot, Joe. Yeah, I had to run home and go visit my new granddaughter as of <laughs> three days ago. Hello, little Alessia. Congratulations there, Bob. Yes, Thanks, congratulations. Luke. Again. My <laughs> wife and I are happy. Okay. Uh, I would be proud too, Bob. I am. And Eddie trying to go off the back wall, and he's able to do it. He makes the point. One point, and it is tied up again at three to three. That'll be cool. Oh my God! You are one of a kind. Thank God. There's only one Chris Federico, Luch. Why? Thank you. I'll be here for the rest of the game. This is possible. Hey, thanks, Todd. Carmen, you're welcome, man. It was it was fun playing you guys. I enjoyed it. I know you guys are here to stay. Dante, missed you this weekend, buddy. See you somewhere soon, I'm sure. Probably up at Jerry's. Here comes Doug Carter for a shot. And he's not happy about that one. Uh-oh. So he was able to hit it. It sounded like maybe he clipped the ball. Yeah, it did sound that way. Did he clip that, Frank? Yeah, just got a small piece. Uh, okay. Didn't grab point. But still a good shot. There's Russ yeah. to pick him up. Yeah, fantastic shot by Russ. What's yeah. the atmosphere like down there, Frank? Oh, it's always electric for these championship games. Every shot, everybody's into it. Such a great feeling and environment. Yeah, maybe we could do another tournament next weekend. What do you think, Luca Fine? It's too much fun. Good hit there by PL3. You guys want to run it back, 100 teams again? Uh, we'll cut it down to 50. <laughs> Make it easy. And what, I mean, how, how about the weather this weekend? Well, how perfect was that? Hey, <laughs> look at that shot. Another wonderful point. I believe point. that was Joe that just rolled that. That was Pino. Oh, it was Pino. Okay, Pino rolled that. Comes Pino to hit. The warm-up. And the pitch. Wham! Good hit there by Tino. Yeah. They got two holding points. Yeah. Gosh. Yep, Green holding in for two right now. Uh-oh. Here we so go Joe, again. Joe, now with the last ball. Here comes strategy again. Right, he's got to figure out where to place this because Eddie's got a ball also. We've, he's going to shoot this out. We've been here before. Yeah. I think it was the first frame where I think Eddie missed yes, that opportunity. So I'll have a chance to do it again. But we'll see where Joe puts this first.
Joe with the roll straight down the court. Nice oh, ball. Good ball by Joe. Good pressure shot. So now it's on Eddie. I'm calling shoot stick. He fires. Good hit by him. Only one. Only one. <laughs> Again. One point. Wow. <laughs> They escaped one more time, Frank. Yes, they did. 4-3, North Country Graphics. Everybody knows Coke. They are a total beverage company from their passion. break you saw Nick put a ball on and Doug Carter try to hit him out but his ball popped off the court so it was removed from play so now Russ will be going to roll his point let's look at this here a nice ball by Russ once again wow look at that roll and Russ is just on it right now pulling the consistency good points straight lines he's got a good rhythm here in this finals Thank you, Lisa Maraglio. I appreciate that. My wife and I are over the top happy. We have Dante Delicio watching. Uh, my cousin Lisa Tromba Thompson watching. Welcome all. Oh, and a good hit there by PL3. Oh. But Russ's ball came back into play. Some luck on their side. Yeah. Doug wasn't mad at that one. <laughs> Look, Doug's popping a smile. <laughs> Uh-oh. Look short. short. Russ is saying no. Frank? Court to court to court. Yeah, that ball is short for sure. Luciano practicing his Italian right here. <laughs> <laughs> so now Tino will roll in here. I don't know about all that, Dante. Wow. Oh, oh my great God. ball, that Tino. Wow. That's a beauty. They are touching. On the Pauline, kissing it. Great roll there. The unit couldn't do that, Looch. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here we go. There's a whole new string of comments coming. Yeah, we'll see a video coming out soon. <laughs> Joe and Pino in the back now looking to knock out Tino's ball. But it's on the Pauline. Oh, red shorts through last. Should be popping to the left corner. Oh, and Joe gets it. Pauline popped. Red point. And he got it. Yeah, I think Joe liked that, huh, Frank? Yeah, that was a great shot. Yeah, it was. Red ball follow, two for red here. Yeah, there's a two for... Five two. to four, Fierito Funeral Services. That's our first multiple point frame. No, nope. Luch? Yes, it is. Mark it down. So they got two on the frame, up five to four. Reed taking the lead there. Now Russ will lead off this frame. As he steps, throws. He likes it. Wow. Uh, As he should. Great ball. I think he should be drug tested. <laughs> PEDs? I think so, man. He's got to be drug tested. No wonder he's losing his hair. <laughs> PL3 now lining up a shot. He fires. Oh. Yeah, got it out of there. Just clipped the Pauline there. Is that correct, Frank? Yeah, clipped the Pauline. Red holding point. Okay. Nick now getting ready to point. And in the weather, the weather this weekend has been phenomenal. It's been a great weekend down here. 
We had lives bands during the week. Here goes Nick to throw. We had Jungle Terry today. Jungle Terry, Rick Smith. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh, that's long. Yeah, that's point though. You know what's funny, Bob? Luciano commenting on the weather, and he wasn't even here. I was gone for a little bit. <laughs> One day. But still, it was a nice weather. I'm not sure if they're going to invite me back next year. <laughs> uh, I think I did comment on the weather earlier, but uh, Luch decided not to follow up on my comment and have a conversation. He just blew me off, so it's, you know. It's been great weather. I mean, it's uh, typical Luciano, though. Low 80s here today. Wind a non-factor in this finals? No, oh, I wish there was wind right now. <laughs> Jeez. I yeah. could go for some wind. Yeah. You, you, oh, same same down there, Frank? Yes. Even with the fans on. Yeah, it's pretty hot down here. I mean, Definitely uh, with a large crowd of people surrounding the court, you can probably feel. Yeah. Yeah. The body heat, the temperature of this finals match makes it a little bit more intense, though. Who's got a point here, Frank? Who's got a point here? Uh, Red is holding point. Looks like they're calling for a shot from Tino. So here it comes. Chris, so that's enough of this nonsense talk. Frank, who's got the point? <laughs> he just cut us right off, Luch. We don't care about the weather right now and the wind, <laughs> wind factor. <laughs> Tino shot. Good hit yeah, by him shot. right there. And now Russ instructing... He wants Joe to hit this. Hey, how <laughs> oh, no, the, Doug. Doug the will Powell brothers first. just walked up and said hello and haven't seen him for a while. And a good hit by Doug. Good to see you. Now Joe. I think they were taking a swing at Paulino there. Oh, really? oh so then a miss then. Oh. But he did open it up. Makes a much easier roll for Joe here. Thank you, Frank, for clearing that up. Yes, and that's oh. also a, a good point. Let's see what Joe does here. And it's going to be point. Yep, one point. Fiorito Funeral Services, six to four. Is that the first two? No, first it's two point lead. It's the first, first two point lead. We'll be going to commercial. Second year as stage sponsor is Hesh Sagafi of Liberty Home Mortgage, a local lender that is honest, responsive, and provides answers quickly. Educates clients about the various loan products and helps. Deal closed on time. Contact Hesh Sagafi of Liberty Home Mortgage at 216-780-1103. All right, welcome back. So you just saw the rush is on fire right now with his points. But another one, good on, good ball here for him. And now Paul Lewis to shoot, and he does get it out. Great shot. So Fiorito Funeral Service, Services up six to four. We want to remind our fans this finals match is up to sixteen. So even if we have to play another game, will be to sixteen both games. If we have to play another one, another a good ball there. Both yeah. finals matches, if there is to be another game, will be the 16. All weekend long, we were playing a 14, so the finals match uh, going the distance to 16 points this time. Now Tino lining up for a shot. He'll shoot. Great shot. Good hit there. Another beautiful shot there from these guys. All right, Rich Sakawa, you retired yet? God darn it, I'm going to call you now. Yeah, Mike Robertson's uh, watching. Carmen Marinucci, Ben Giuliano. Hi, Benny. Michael Fervada. Hey, Mikey. Thanks for joining us. Anthony Cugini's there, the mad Cugini. So, Joe with the roll. He's in for point. Looks like North Country's trying for a big inning here. There goes okay. Eddie. Uh -oh. oh, man. Some bad luck on North Country graphics side. Tough break there. Yeah, Eddie's had a rough time with the ricochets. Was able to 
hit Joe's ball, but it ricocheted and then hit theirs out, so they were able to hold point. Now they had to roll their final ball. Doug the pointer, ready to shoot it, shoot it up here. And he does. And he, he stuck around. around. Yeah, he around. Two. Great shot, Doug. Oh, wow. Another two for. It's now eight to four, Fiorito Funeral Services. And yet Doug still looks pissed off. <laughs> well, they're able to push their lead eight to four. Let's see if Russ is able to do it again here. He's been on fire all game. That he has. Gotta go. Oh, good ball, Russ. Another good one. We were looking about two feet there, Frank. Yeah, maybe just inside two feet. Looks like he's trying to wear out Paul Luce's shoulder. Yep, they're definitely sending him over for another one. And that arm, his throw count's going up there. After a long weekend of shooting, we'll see what he does here as he lines up for another one. It's interesting. He does that arm swing, too, just like Eddie and Tino. Oh, and he gets a Polino hit. Russ pointed his ball. BL3 looking at going down to check it out. Yeah, it's going to be red point. Okay. So, Fiorito Funeral Services up 8-4. to four, Need to win this match to play another one. As North Country Graphics has no losses. Came into this match undefeated. They only needed to win one time to win the cup. You know how many total games that they played, Luch? Are they 6-0, and 5-0? Do, do, do you have any idea? Uh, we'll have to double check that. Maybe Doug somewhere. Carter for a hit. All right, good shot. Frank, would you happen to know that since you're the uh, score bracket connoisseur? Do you know how many wins North Country Graphics won? I believe it's seven. I can let you know in about ten seconds. Okay. A shot off the back wall by Tino, and he's able to put his ball next to the Paulino. So now Joe, old Pino's looking for the Paulino. <laughs> Never heard that one before. <laughs> Paulino Pino wants to go for it. Pino Paulino. That started about, I don't know, three years ago. He's going to try one. Got he it. Got it. Oh. And that's why he's got the name. There it is. What a shot. That was perfectly executed right there. It sure was. Man. And North Country is 7-0 and right now. 7-0, and okay, thank you. So looking for that eighth victory to win the cup, but currently down 8-4 to four and not holding point. And Eddie talking to his Nick right there, trying to figure out what they want to do. So, Frank, just for the sake of knowing, how many games did Fiorito have to play? So would, would they have to play 10 maybe to get where they're at? They are 8-1 and one right now. Eight and one. So yeah. Like nine games. Okay. Yep. Now they could be, and that's because they had their loss late in the tournament. That's true. That's true. Good point. And that was against North Country Graphics. They lost. Oh, the, nope. Not off the wall, not good. North Country Graphics won the first matchup, 14 to 11, as they did meet late in the tournament. I know talking to Russ before this game started, he wants it bad. Yeah, meanwhile, he's up here carrying four cans of beer back to the lane. <laughs> hey, God bless him. Some people play better when they're drinking. Oh, uh, yeah, I know a few. As you see, he's got a Coors Light in his hand now. Not one of our sponsors here, Luch. Not one of our sponsors. <laughs> we going to blur that can out? <laughs> so Brad Nosen uh, has joined us. Chris Chimluski watching. Ali Rosati, Pino's uh, daughter-in-law. No. Here goes Joe now. Soft Maybe. shot. Great shot by In Joe. there for two. <laughs> Ten to four, Fiorito Funeral Services. Wonderful. Man, what a, you know, starting to blow, obviously it's, well, starting to blow it open. That's a 7-0 run, I believe. 
And Dante with the old Pino Colada. <laughs> I've heard him say that too. Third frame in a row for two points for Fiorito Funeral Services. So, as Frank mentioned, they're on oh. a 7 0 run. We do have an illegal Paulino throw. So, the other team will now place the Paulino, but Russ will still throw first for Fiorito. Okay. You can see North Country strategizing about where they want to put this. Well, I know what some teams around here would do with that, with this Pauline, and it would be thrown very short. And that's exactly what they did. It might be too short. short. It is too short. Oh, my goodness. He did not get over half court. Ouch. Well, the plan did not work out there. Russ will get the Pauline back. Ouch. That hurts. So an opportunity to go short. It hit, hit, hit. Here. Yeah, didn't work. But North Country Graphics down six. We'll have to look to get try to get back into this, try to work their way, try to retrieve the Paulino back. But Russ now, well, this one's long here by him. Geez, Russ has been off all day. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe those PEDs are wearing off. I don't know, man. Maybe it's the Coors Light. Uh, I'll be, be getting warm. <laughs> it's hot over here, Dave Melorano. Hot today, Friday, Saturday. Great ball gorgeous. by Nick. So Nick to capitalize on Russ's strong point. So Doug now will line up for a shot. He fires. Oh. He split the uprights. Ooh. Unfortunately, the without three points. No. Splitting the uprights, huh? Oh, Dave a short point there by Pino. Dave Melorano being a Weisenheimer. Who knew? <laughs> so Joe, with the last ball for Fiorino Funeral Services, needs to put something close, or is going to give a good, or it's a good chance for North Country Graphics to get multiple points on this frame and get back in this match. So we'll see where Joe puts it. He rolls. What a ball. Great ball by Joe there. What a ball. In for point and in a perfect spot. Yeah. Yeah, good point, Frank. Not only the point, but a good spot. Yeah. I'm guessing they'll take a swing at Pauline, maybe. Well, at this point, why not? Well, the game's a 16, though. I mean, so you don't want to give them too easily, but there is a red ball in the back. We'll see what Paul Lewis does here. If he's able to pick that clean, there's plenty of room, and he does! Picked it clean! Wow. Great shot there. Yeah. Opens it up for North wow. Graphics. Yeah, I stand corrected. That was a great shot on that red ball. But great placement by Joe. Made it tough on him, but he was able to get it. Yeah, there's two. Art Petrangelo from the uh, Columbus Italian Club. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us today. So an yep. opportunity here to get 3.0. Oh, oh, my well, Lord. Well short. That looked like me today. They get two, though. So 10 to 6, Fiorito Funeral Services. Okay. They stopped the runaway train able to cut down that lead down to one possession but a missed point there to get three Nick's finally controlling the uh, Paulino again oh, we got blurry all of a sudden oh there it goes Nick for the first point rolls a little bit long but a decent ball to start the frame Doug will line up for a shot there's the Aless Alessio Di Franco. He fires. And he got it. Yeah, great shot. But Green is going to hold point. So Russ now getting ready to roll here. There's the godfather of Bocce back in the right corner there, Gino Latessa. Nice ball. 
I mean, it's short, but. In front, but short. There's room to point. Sometimes those front balls cause a lot of headaches. So they're discussing if they want to hit it, get it out, make some room, or do you want to roll and try to steal it from them? Oh, Alessio. So they're going to roll here. We're going to steal the point, and it looks like they will. Good roll by Eddie. Looking to get his first title of the Cleveland Challenge Cup, Abachi. Came up short in 2012. And then here, and then another opportunity to win it all. Here comes Joe lining up for a shot. And a good hit by Joe to knock him out. Well, <laughs> you know, for a moment there, Luch, I thought this game was starting to be a runaway. And uh, it's neither one of these two teams know how to quit. They don't give up. No, and that's kind of the most important thing, too, is kind of just the control of the Pauline. As you've seen for a couple of frames, they were able to get multiple points, and now North Country Graphics trying to make their move to get back in this one. So there goes Paul Lewis for a shot, and he got the Pauline. Man, look at that he did get it, but he put it in the back corner. Two for red right now. Oh. Wow. So not the shot that ex he exactly wanted. So Tino now. Chris, I'm surprised, surprised your wife isn't online. Deep I, I am corner. as well. <laughs> and Tino, with a great roll to the Beautiful corner, ball. puts it on the Pauline. <laughs> so he used their last ball, was able to put it on and make it difficult here. That was a, a really a good throw. Unbelievable shot. Yeah. Joe Armelli, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Nino, Nino's online watching. Man, I, I mean, it's, the weather this weekend. Was it, didn't it rain last weekend? Oh. oh. We'll do a commercial as these guys discuss what they want to do. Good idea. We'll cut the commercial real quick. Since the first store opened its doors in Middleburg Heights, Ohio in 1979, Marks has been focused on offering customers the lowest possible prices. MCR, Marketing Communication. So welcome back after our commercial break. They're still discussing on what the best thing to do is. Tino with a great roll to the corner off the side wall, side wall, back wall, put it on the Pauline, and now has made it a very uh, discussing strategy of what they want to do here for Ferrito Pino Services. Here goes Pino now. Let's see what happens. Green holding for one. Oh, and he wasn't able to get it. It's going to be 10-7, Fiorito Funeral Services. All right, it's a three-point run. So a great there ball, a great ball by Tino Emanuel. Uh, so a good point by him. Tino tried to shoot him out of there, wasn't able to. So now we have a 10-7 game here in this finals. And Nick will start off the frame with his first point. Ball. Looking good. Yeah. 
And now he's starting to get going a little bit here. You see he's uh, getting a feel for the court, uh, Luch. You're right. And he starts to get his, his rhythm down. Here goes Doug Carter now. He fires. Bang! What oh. a nice shot there by Doug! I think that's Doug's expectation. Every time. Shoot and stick every time or he's not going to smile. <laughs> I'm not so sure he smiled that time. I was going to say, even then, it's iffy. <laughs> Well, there's no hat throwing or towel throwing, so we're in good shape. So, Doug, when you listen to this, just know we're busting your chops, buddy. <laughs> so, Eddie with a nice roll to take point. He's in front. Joe lining up the shoot. Another shooting no. stick. Whoa! Another one. Wow! Back to back shots. Wow. <laughs> We're definitely going to have to cut that, clip that, and put that in the highlight reel. <laughs> Where's Cugini with the highlight reel? <laughs> I expect that from you tomorrow, Luciano. <laughs> so two hits and sticks. Another Joel. good one. Beautiful. Wow. Oh my Great Lord. ball. Can we get three? Man, what an inning this is. Wow. A great inning here. Here goes Pino. Hey, ooh. Oh, a missed shot by Pino. And it was, he hit his own ball out. So a missed fire there. I think he missed that one because he didn't have short sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Pino. We love you. I think he's got something to do Going with it. Going with the uh, blue T-shirts of uh, uniform for... Burrito Funeral Services. All you got to do is bring a pair of scissors, Luch. Right. <laughs> Take care of that problem. Club here has got a pair of scissors for him, I think. Well, if, if they win this game, and they, obviously it'll be a second game, maybe you can bring some scissors out to the guy. Uh -oh, it goes to this. Russ. Hey. Hey. Russ steals it. Whoa. Wow. Russ wow. Maraglio going off the wall to steal the point. And Doug is not happy still. <laughs> Paul Lewis the third now. I think he's happy. <laughs> yeah, I think he's happy with that, yeah. Deep so down. North Country grab and skip together. They're going to shoot this out by Paul Lewis the third. He's going to look to pick this thing clean. So Michael Fox, that was Russ Maraglio's ball. You were wondering who Rusty is. He fires. Oh! It clipped the Pauline. Frank, where'd that go? It's down on the back wall. Looks like one red. Yeah. Oh, one red. Wow. 11 to 7, Fiorito Funeral Services. Man, oh, man. What an inning. So Russ's great ball off the wall. Put it right next to the Pauline, forcing Paul Lewis the third to try to shoot it out. He wasn't able to. And now Fiorito Funeral Services controlling the Pauline again back in Russ's hands. Here he goes. Uh oh. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Thank God for heavy Paulines. That one had some heat on. He was so excited from his last point, he just fired that one down the court this time. Sometimes that adrenaline takes over. You're right. You are so right, Frank. But Nick trying to capitalize on it doesn't look like he will. Well, short. So Eddie now looking to pick him up with their second point. And they'll get through. And that looks like to be point. And it is. So good roll by Eddie, putting now Doug in a shooting position. Doug will fire. Oh! And he gets a bad ricochet there, hitting Eddie's ball, but then it taps on Russ's. So now Nick's ball is in for point. Yeah. Another great hit from Doug and just a really unlucky bounce. So unfortunate events by Doug's shot has Pino now pointing in. Let's see if he can put it on here. 
Man, he's long on the Paulino, but has the point. That yeah, for sure. A good line there by Pino, just a little bit long. Beautiful view here from uh, the Wisco Italian American Club today. <laughs> great views, great crowd right now. They went from pointing to shooting. Here comes Paul Lewis. We're going to switch it up here. <laughs> if I had time, Alessio, I'd tell everybody about your little story <laughs> from New York. How you ended up in Syracuse. Here goes Paul Lewis, the third. Shoots and he hits him out. A good shot there by PL3. All right. Man, I don't think, I don't think uh, PL3 has missed any, has he? This whole game? I don't think so. I don't believe so. And he's having a good game. Not that he misses often, but I mean, he's been hitting square. A couple he said, you know, just sliced the ball a little bit, but no, he's hit everything. He's doing well in this finals currently. But his team is down 11 to 7. There's a lot of pressure playing in front of all these people. You have to block all that out. A lot of people here at the finals match. As you see in the background in the stands. Here comes Joe now. Looking to put a good point on. And oh. Oh man. Ouch. He bumped. Bumped onto Nick's ball. So no good there by yeah, Joe. Joe is not happy with that, obviously. He's talking to the consigliere. So here goes Tino, looking to get two. He's long, but he's in. Two points for North Country Graphics. Yes, it is. It's going to be 11 to 9. Fiorito Funeral Services still holding a two-point lead. I'm being asked to tell that story, maybe between games, uh, Alessio. <laughs> it's, a, you guys, uh, it's a classic. Right. And as you see now, the second half of the match, it's getting a little bit more intense. It is. As you can feel the points are getting more crucial. The margin of errors, it's getting smaller and smaller. It gets tougher as you go along, man. There's no doubt about it. I think I can go for some French fries. What do you think there, Bob? I Yeah, some fries would be wonderful. Alessio laughing in the background here. Great but ball by Nick. Good ball to, by Nick. Aless Alessio right. said that means I have to open my wallet and let those malls out. <laughs> John Carter shooting. Hits the Pauline. All right. Nice, nice ball. This ball goes good with shot. it. So a good <laughs> shot there. Yep, that'll definitely work. Alessio, how come that dollar hanging out of your pocket says I love you? First communion, 1995. How come? <laughs> There goes Eddie now, looking to shoot off the back uh -oh. wall. Oh, look at that there. Wow. That ball popped up perfectly right next to the Pauline. Yeah, he lofted that thing up there, Frank. There it is. There's a nice <laughs> a shot high. there as see, we zoom in. You see Doug slam his water down in frustration. There's uh, Oliver Marcon standing next to the uh, broadcast booth, our bracket Scientologist. Another great job by uh, both Frank and Oliver Ollie. this weekend. Absolutely. Fabulous job. Here goes Joe for his shot. He fires. And a miss. Uh -oh. Joe missing. Mm. Not able to hit Eddie's ball out. So now Doug and Joe wanting them to clip it on the left hand side. We'll see if Pino can do it. And I'll stop for a moment to kind of discuss exactly what they want to do. Doug trying to instruct to go back door and possibly lay on their ball. It yeah. looks like he's trying to say where and he I, wants them to go. And I like that call, uh, Luce, right now. You want you, this ball needs to hang around. We'll see if he can do it. Oh, he got he hit it. He clipped the ball on the left hand side. Oh. So Pauline goes to the right corner. And they're not able to get the point. I'm sure that's not what Pino intended to do. I wouldn't think. So North Country Graphics, Eddie's ball off the back wall, still holding point. Pino clipped it as it moved over a little bit. Now Russ 
with the final ball for Phil Reno Funeral Services. I'm thinking he's going to put this ball to try to get this thing in the corner there. Let's see uh, how what he does. I think so. And he's going for it. Oh, and it came up just a little bit off the wall. Just touched a little early. So he's sitting on the left-hand side of the Pauline. As you see, Eddie trying to instruct his team to aim for that corner. All right, so Jimmy Oma has joined us. Benny Latessa and Marie Zakala. Anne Marie, get your husband to retire. Time to go enjoy life. Brian Linich, Jimmy DeFranco. Jimmy, good playing you today. I, uh, although we lost, I enjoyed I enjoyed playing with, uh, against you, Chris, and the rest of the team. So, girls, Paul Lewis, the third first, to knock them out. Oh, and his ball jumped up. Man. He directly hit the Paulino, so it took a hop on him. Oh, it, it, it ramped up over the Paulino? Yes, it did. Yep, right over Paulino there. Okay. So he had a straight gutter ball hitting the Paulino. Wasn't able, he, I know he was trying to touch that wall late to try to clip out uh, Russ's ball, but wasn't able to. No, not when it ramps up like that. No. So we'll see what Tino does here. Yeah, they still have a shot it's for kind of several. a rare thing. Ball hops up like that over the Pauline, but I've seen it happen many times. Actually, Dante Delisio, when it was the old um, Dito's. He's playing a little tournament over there. His ball did that same thing. Oh, he caught oh. it. That's red. Yeah, it's going to be one point red. Point. Looks like 12 to 9, Fiorito Funeral Services. Yes. So Tino not able to get that ball out. They had two swings at it, not able to get the job done. So now Fiorito Funeral Services up 12 to 9. Game to 16, so they are four points away from pushing this finals to a game two. And here goes Russ. All right. Russ is back on track, Luch. And a good ball by him. What a great guy Russ is. Love talking to him. Great sense of humor. He's, he's just an all-around good guy, even if he is an attorney. <laughs> there goes Paul Lewis, the third. He fires. And a straight on hit. But I think his ball went to the corner. They're looking at it. What are you thinking, Frank? They're both deep corner. It's hard to tell from here whose ball's out. It looks like Green has the uh, edge on that side of the triangle there. If I had to guess, I'm going to say green. We'll do a quick Welcome back. Oh, and Tino with a hit. But it looks like the Rito Funeral Services ball came back into play and wasn't able to get them out. That red ball pinballed all around back there and came all the way back out. Wow. So Nick now looking to establish a good ball here. Short in front. And he's got the point. Now here comes Doug Carter, a 2018 runner-up. Fires, and another good hit by Doug Carter. Hit square on. Just another hit stick from Doug. So Eddie now, Eddie now with his final ball. Put it far out left. I kind of understand when he was trying to get points and put it close by their ball. He probably was assuming they're going to shoot it out for three. Yeah, one would assume. 
but Frank, he, he looked to be a little bit too far out there. Yeah, I'm not sure if he, exactly if that's what he was doing, but yeah, he definitely rolled out a bit. And Joel here looks short, so I'm not sure how many they, they got here. Definitely that one right there. They're going to measure for two. What was the verdict, Frank? Looks like just one. Just one point. Yep, confirmed from Pino down there, just one. So it'll be 13 to 9, Fiorito Funeral Services. You know what I did here? Um, I wish Bob were on the uh, camera here, or the uh, microphone here. I did hear that Russ wants to shave his head if he wins this tournament. Is that the rumor? That's the rumor. No way. Russ is going to be shaving his head <laughs> if, he, if wins he wins. Wow. I may even help him with that. Oh, it's a barber. I wouldn't mind having him over. I'll help him with that. Russ's ball here short. Is it going to be on the spot, like on the like right after the game? Oh, I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. Hang on. I'm going to call my wife, tell her to bring her clippers <laughs> down. <laughs> Don't take care of this. Forget the PED. So Russ's ball to start the frame is a bit short, but in front. Nick to point. Looks good. Nice ball. Nice ball. Off the wall. Didn't come off as much as he wanted it to, but it's point. You heard rumors, huh, Chris? Not in the minute. <laughs> Lisa says no. His sister says, not in a million years. <laughs> I don't know, Lisa. Rusty's going to have to. Uh, he can't Welsh on a bet. So Doug Carter now lining up for a shot. <laughs> he fires off the wall and, and gets it. A good hit by him. Everyone in this match here is looking for their first title for the Cleveland Challenge Cup Abachi. Doug, a runner-up in 2018. Tino and Eddie, runners-up in 2012. That's a good one right there. Looks like it might be half-hidden. So Joe now, he shoots, and a good hit by him. Solid player. Joe's a solid player, man. Remember when he started playing with his uh, dad, Jimmy? Jim, does that, uh, uh, how do you pronounce his name now? Stazar. Stazar, okay. I always said the desert, but Stazar, yeah. When they first started playing, man, he's, he's gotten uh, gotten to be a very, very good player, obviously. And Tino, unfortunately, short on the point. So now Paul Lewis. Looking to put one on. As this will be, it'll be their last ball. Pino with one ball in the back. Looking probably for an opportunity to shoot PL 3s ball out. Possibly for the win. They only need three more points to win this. Nice ball. Well, we'll so I don't think, I don't think, I don't know if Tino's ball is in compared to get a close measure here. Uh, this, this red ball in the back. Can you tell, Frank? I think he made point. It's hard to tell if you're talking second, third here. It's hard to see yeah. what's in there. Second, third is what we were talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah, hard to know, tell. I didn't know if Tino's ball came in for the second point. I don't know if it beat that back red. But Russ is just instructing for Pino to roll. So look to steal it and get one point. But. Short. Uh, that ball got chewed up on the wall over there and came up short. One point for North Country Graphics, 13-10, Fiatito Funeral Services. 
Yeah, definitely slower along the walls. Good point, Frank. I had a couple balls uh, do that this weekend. Just uh, got to give it a little more push. So not able to get the point there. Nick takes the Pauline again, throwing it down the middle of the court. Looking to put one on here. Is that the right score, Luch? 13-9? That is correct. Okay. No, 13-10. 13-10, that's right. It's 13-10. Okay, there you go. Thanks, Frank. Nick, a good ball to start, a little long, but I believe Doug will try to hit this out. So he fires. Good hit there by Doug. Happy Doug good. with the hit. Yep, great shot by Doug. And they retained point. Chris Purcell sneaking by the booth. So Hello, Eddie now, Chris. A point. Oh, and it's going to be long. So he's long on that one. Opens up the point. There's, there's a lot of room here for. Uh, oh, here it comes. A nice roll there. I believe that was Pino. That was Russ. Well, that was Russ. Okay, so he didn't throw his ball yet. So a very good ball by Russ. Here comes PL3. He shoots. And a nice hit there by PL3. <clears throat> Knocks Russ's ball out. Pretty sure his shoulder's still in his socket. <laughs> he throws hard. Oh. Yeah. And Pino's ball is the point, but room for Tino to roll in. So here he goes. Rolling left. Is it in? No. Nope. It is not in. Does not nope. look good. Nope, nope, nope. So Joe now looking for a second point to get to 15. Games are to 16. Here goes Joe, straight line. And a good roll by Joe. Yeah, that's a beauty right there. They're going to be on game point for Fiorito Funeral Services coming up. 15 to 10. Crowd love that round. They just need one more point to force a game two. Also would be a rubber match between these two teams. North Graphics won earlier in the tournament, 14 to 11. And now Federal Funeral Services looking to get that last point and force another game. Well, Rusty rolls in as usual. Yes, Lisa, I said Rusty. I'm not going to forget that. <laughs> oh boy way to go rusty both teams looking for their first championship north country graphics only need one win <laughs> Bill Rio funeral services need a win here and force another game to try to win their first title and they're one point away from doing that to get it to a game two PL3 fires. A good hit there. Man, this ball almost jumped out. But it didn't. That ball hit the very top of that wall. But it stays in as they look to see who's the point. Russ smiling. He wants to measure it. I feel like Russ is glowing right now. Yeah, he does have a little glow to him, doesn't he? Or is I think that just he fell asleep out by the playground in the sun. Or, or is games. that just the uh, sunshine? Uh, reflecting off of his head. <laughs> Lisa, I didn't say that. I didn't say that about uh, your brother Rusty. It's important for him to make sure he stays, you know, walks off the court after he throws. You don't want any, you want to get blinded. 
Papino rolling now. His point's long. And of course, you got two two bald guys up here in the booth. <laughs> yeah, right. And I heard Bob's going to be shaving his head as oh. well. Me. Not yet. I'm going to keep what God gave me until it goes away. Kind of is already going away there, Bob. What's that? Oh, nothing. I didn't say anything there, Bob. Don't be jealous. Don't be a hater. So Nick Do not be a air point. hater. Doug fires. Great uh -oh. shot, Doug. He what happened? Him. What happened? Where did Pauline? It was go? a great shot, but Green is about a foot and a half away. Where's so. that Pauline, Frank? Uh, Green holding. Uh, Pauline's right on the green line with uh, North Country, about a foot and a half away here. Okay. So great shot from Doug, just not the bounce he was looking for. You got to switch that camera over so we can see uh, the lay of the land. We'll go to commercial real quick. Is it to talk it out? And we'll be right back. Mr. Excavator is a family-owned and operated excavating. Work. With over 50 years of experience, a versatile fleet of well-maintained and reliable earth-moving equipment, and a resourceful pool of knowledgeable, skilled labor, we can handle a wide range of excavation projects in Ohio and neighboring states. For more information, go to www.mrexcavator.com. Okay, we're back. We saw Joe there. A short roll. Eddie rolling in for a point there. What do we got here, Frank? Yeah, they've got two right now, and Tino still got a ball back, and they're talking about coming off the back wall because it looks like that doesn't need to come off much. Yeah, I think uh, Joe made a little error in judgment where he threw that ball from. Open this up for... Uh, yeah, he's in there for three. And yeah. three so, points. Huh? First, so 15-13. Wow. Yeah, 15-13. Uh, Fiorito Funeral Services still holds the lead. Yeah. But North Country Graphics has the Paulino back. Like yeah. you said before, this was going to go to the distance, and here, here it comes. Got a 15-13 right. to 13 match, game to 16. And you're talking about possibly just one error in judgment and, and where to throw the ball from. And here goes Nick now to lead the frame. Uh-oh. Great ball. Yeah, he's all over it. You know, this is why these two teams are in the finals, just fighting back and forth. And Great game. Great game. Down to these last two, both looking for their first championship. Here goes Doug Carter. He fires. He got the shot, and it looks like he got the ricochet, too, to get the point. Yep, Doug got another shot there, another great one, and yeah, he uh, he's going to hold point. All right, nice ball, Doug. Getting down the nitty gritty here, boys. And here goes Eddie now, looking to put one on. Nice ball again. And he will. So a good ball by him up front. So uh, Joe or Pino going to shoot? Yeah, Joe's going to shoot this. Shoot this. He fires, and he got it. And he's able to knock Eddie's ball out, and now they have the point. Okay, yeah, they held point, okay. Here comes Tino for his roll, looking to put it back on. And another great ball. Great ball by Tino there. Guys are machines, for God's sake. So here comes Pino for a shot. I heard something. Pino Polino. Oh, Pino put it in the green corner. Oh. You see on screen there, the Polino goes Ouch. to the right corner. Green has two points right now. A change of events. As you would assume, they possibly were going to just hit the next two shots to try to win this. Pino now hitting the Paulino to the right corner and giving North North Country Graphics two points 
We'll see where Russ puts it. Wow, what a change of events. That final point is hard to get sometimes. It's the toughest, Chris. It's absolutely the toughest. We can just ask Rosario about that. Rosario? There's got to be a story there. I won't ask. So here goes Russ. He here. fires off the back wall. And. Ooh, long. Oh, it came off came too off. much. Not a bad ball, though, Rusty. So good try by Russ. A little strong on that. But a ball up front. Welcome, Chuck Britton. So they're going to try to discuss this. We'll do a commercial real quick. And Bill Schneider, the owner of Fiorito Funeral Service, is also online, guys. Thanks for watching. And, uh, Serpentini Chevrolet is proud to serve residents and guests in Northeast Ohio. They strive to deliver the best car buying experience in the Cleveland area by having the largest selection of Chevrolets in Northeast Ohio and having a large team of friendly and experienced sales, service, and finance professionals. They are thankful that their customers have made them the number one selling Chevy dealer in Northeast Ohio, and they make it their goal to continue delivering unmatched customer service. Paul Luce the third shoots. This ball hung up on the board. He fired. And he got him two. Two or three. It's going to be 15 15, oh, guys. Oh, boy. Oh. It is. Wow. Someone's going to win this frame. It's coming down to the final frame. What a shot. Wow. What a finals match. What a game one here, folks. Yeah, a round of applause Christ for everybody. Goes wild. Here we go. Nick. Pointing. Oh, okay, hold on. Let's, just, let's see how this plays out. Nick, Nick with a great ball. All right, if you guys missed it, it was 15 15. Tino's ball in. Pino went to go shoot it. And they missed. Joe tried to shot. He missed it also. Not able to get the point. So North Country Graphics win their first championship. Winning 16 to 15. Congratulations, man. Congrats, brother. Oh, yeah. Paul Lewis the third. Awesome game. Congratulations. Good stuff. <laughs> Got it done. <laughs> How you guys feeling right now? So you guys feeling your first championship in this tournament? Congratulations, you fellas. Anything you guys want to say? How the weekend went, the tournament? Thank you for the club. Thank you for the club. Gino Latazzi, people that ran the tournament excellent. They treated us nice. And we got no more to say about all honor with you guys. I don't know, I blacked out then what happened. You guys were down there for a little bit. Yes. We didn't catch a break though, boys. We, uh, we fought, we didn't give up. We got the breaks, and for once we got the break at the end. We needed. Was there a discussion with the team of like, uh, just keep pointing them on? Yeah, we just gotta keep pointing. That's what we've been doing this whole tournament. We just gotta play, we gotta play, we didn't give in. An awesome job winning that final game 16 to 15 on the final throws. Congratulations, guys. Paul Lewis, the third here. First hitter. First hitter played good. And, uh, I don't feel so bad about beating my dad the first game right now. <laughs> awesome, awesome run the tournament. Going undefeated in the tournament. Another year in a row that we had a team go undefeated. An awesome job to these guys. The trophies are being brought out now. And 
and their names will be added to the list of champions to this trophy. As they will be taking the cup back to Rome. You guys, you guys see this? It's coming, Rome. Um, it's coming, Rome. It's coming, Rome. <laughs> PL3. So last year's winners out of New York, Lockport, and Rome. North Country Graphics out of Rome, New York. Everybody on the team. So the cup heads back to New York. The five and a half hour drive. Oh, thank you, thank you. As they will do the ceremony now to receive the trophies and medals. Trophies there. Hold it by Oliver. Here are runner up. Fiorito Funeral Services. This year's runner up. A great run for these guys. Finishing eight and two in the tournament. So a great job by them. Yes, I can recap for you guys in that last frame our deepest, deepest apologies on what happened. Tino had thrown to the back wall and acquired the point. So he had the last point. Then Joe and Pino had a ball in the back both shooting, trying to get the ball out. And they weren't able to get him out. They clipped it on the last throw and it wasn't enough to bump the ball out. So North Country Graphics won the match on a final throw just by a couple inches. This one's for Glenn. What's up, Glenn? <laughs> Glenn Marsh, the owner of North Country Graphics, sponsoring the team for these guys. Hey, you won. You gotta come up here. Come on over here. Hey, come on up. Oh, where to go this way? Their first title in the Cleveland Challenge Kobachi. Eduardo and Tino, father, son, finished runners up in 2012. And now, 10 years later, they get the job done for the first time. An incredible run by them, undefeated. These are my Roman friends, I call them my Romans. There's the cup. It's coming, Rome. You guys know what to do, right? So the cup will be theirs for the year as it will travel up to New York.
Get out of the way. Oh, photo bomb. Go fight your grandson. So your champions for the 38th Cleveland Challenge Cup of Bocce, North Country Graphics get it done. Undefeated run through the tournament. Eduardo and Tino, runners up in 2012. Ten years later, they'll hold the cup. How's it feel? Pretty heavy? He's going to sleep with it tonight. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> there you go. Oh, how's it going? So, it concludes, as you can see. Paul Lewis Jr. here. So that concludes our tournament for this year. The 38th Cleveland Challenge Cup of Bocce sponsored by Serpentini Chevrolet. We want to thank all the teams, 100 teams coming out to Cleveland this, this weekend to Wycliffe Italian American Club to compete in the tournament. 100 teams all down to one of North Country Graphics. Thank you everybody. Thank you for our sponsors. See if they take more photos. Congratulations to these guys. And thank you everyone out there for coming down this weekend, tuning in, watching the live stream. And it definitely uh, makes it well worth it to put on this tournament for you guys and have you guys tune in and watch along. Is that right, Paul? Absolutely. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So. With, uh, you guys, I'm signing off. Anything? Jake. Last words? Yeah. Thanks for everyone. Thanks for great time. Yeah. Enjoy, enjoy. And thank you, everyone, once again. And we'll see you guys next year. Congratulations, North Country Graphics, for the 38th. Cleveland Challenge Cup of Bocce, sponsored by Serpentini Chevrolet. Ciao.